Welcome to the Department of Chemical Engineering at the University of the West Indies. The purpose of this safety induction video today is to assist with accident prevention in our laboratories. Engineering laboratories can be dangerous places if strict safety procedures are not adhered to. Doing things safely is not merely the right way to work, it is the only way. Before you begin an operation or perform an experiment, it is important to ask yourself, what would happen if? Answers to this question require an understanding of the hazards associated with the chemicals and equipment involved. Once hazards have been identified, proper steps can then be taken to mitigate their danger. A safe lab session starts with proper clothes. You must wear clothing and equipment that will protect you from chemicals and flames and at the same time stay out of your way. A lab coat must be worn to keep splashes off your clothes. If it fits too loose, it can drag through chemical puddles, knock things over or become entangled in rotating equipment. Therefore, your lab coat should fit fairly close, but not be too tight so as to restrict movement. Use gloves to protect your hands. Never use bare hands with concentrated acids, bases or other reactive chemicals such as concentrated hydrogen peroxide. Gloves should be changed regularly to prevent chemicals from permeating through them, causing injuries. Lab coats and gloves should not be worn outside the laboratory, as various surfaces, including doors, tables, chairs, etc., can become contaminated with potentially hazardous substances. Legs are vulnerable to chemical splashes and broken glass if you drop something, so long pants should be worn to protect them. Open shoes can't protect your feet from spills, therefore closed shoes are much better. Besides wearing the right clothes, there are other precautions you should take to avoid accidents. Tie up loose long hair because it could become trapped in rotating equipment, knock something over or even catch fire. Remove rings and watches as they can trap corrosive chemicals against your skin and the chemicals can also damage your jewelry. And finally, your eyes are the easiest to hurt and the most important to protect. Don't wear contact lenses in the lab. They may trap chemical vapors against your eyes and if that happens, your eyelids may go into spasms that make it impossible to remove the lenses and wash out the chemical. Always wear goggles with side shields to completely protect your eyes, even if you're already wearing glasses. In some cases, Hard hats may also be required to protect your head from possible falling objects. Fooling around in the laboratory can have disastrous consequences. You could scar yourself or others for life, even cause blindness. So the most important rule of all in the lab is no fooling around. Even if you are not fooling around, accidents can still happen. Personal belongings in the middle of aisles can trip someone. There are behavioral rules to protect you against the less obvious hazards too. Eating and drinking in the lab are not allowed as chemicals can contaminate your food or splash into a drink. Get rid of them before you come into the lab. Workspaces should be kept neat and tidy to avoid knocking vessels over, causing spillage and breakage of glassware. Liquid puddles or powders left behind on the lab bench can get onto the next person's clothing or skin. Wipe them up thoroughly and throw the paper towels away in the proper container before you leave. Clean chemicals off your hand. There may be invisible chemical residues that could damage your skin or contaminate your food the next time you eat. Handling chemicals safely means following the rules designed to keep them from contacting your skin and eyes or someone else's. Before conducting any experiments in the laboratory, be sure to read the instructions all the way through first before doing anything. The hazard warnings for all chemicals involved should be thoroughly read and understood before proceeding. Detailed information about chemicals can be obtained from material safety data sheets.
When handling chemicals, always keep them away from your face. Never taste anything to see what it is and don't touch it or smell it directly from the bottle either. Small amounts of some chemicals, even vapors, can harm your eyes, mouth and nasal membranes. Certain chemicals, called volatile chemicals, give off vapors. You should work with harmful volatiles under a fume cupboard. When your hands are inside the fume cupboard, the sash should be kept at the level marked as the safe working height. Failure to do so will affect the performance of the fume cupboard in removing harmful vapors. The work surface of the fume cupboard should also be kept as clutter-free as possible to avoid obstructing the airflow and airflow patterns inside. Chemical bottles should be transported safely using either trolleys or bottle carriers to minimize the risk of dropping them. At some point in your laboratory work, you'll probably spill something. You should report spills immediately. Stay away from the spill's chemical and let your technician clean it up. Small spills can be wiped up with paper towels once the chemicals are non-corrosive. To keep a large spill from spreading, it's barricaded with an absorbent material. Depending on the nature of the chemical, it's then either mopped up or soaked up with the absorbent material. The absorbents and chemical are then properly discarded. Your lab should have a container for each type of waste. Be sure to place your waste in the appropriate container. Waste paper that's not contaminated by chemicals goes into a conventional trash can. Broken glassware goes into a separate container. In spite of safety precautions, people sometimes get careless and accidents happen. That's why a well-equipped lab has emergency equipment to take care of them. Upon entering a lab for the first time, note the location of the following. Eye wash station, safety shower, fire extinguisher and or fire blanket, first aid kit and emergency exit. Exits and emergency exits are clearly marked in green. You should also know where the designated muster point is in the event of fires, gas leaks, natural disasters such as earthquakes, etc. Other important safety information such as emergency contact numbers for departmental first aiders can be found on safety notice boards throughout the department. If you are unsure about any of the above, please approach your lab technician with further inquiries. If you've cut yourself, wash the wound to remove any chemical traces. Make sure there are no pieces of glass in the cut and dry your skin carefully so a bandage will stick. Notify your technician whenever you have an accident and make sure to get immediate medical attention from the health services unit after any entry in the lab. Chemical spills and splashes are also common lab accidents. If a chemical hits your eyes, wash them immediately in an eye wash fountain. Hold your eyes open and roll them around so the water can wash them thoroughly. Non-corrosive chemical splashes should be rinsed off in the lab sink with plenty of water. Spills of corrosive materials require a lot more water. Don't wait until you feel pain from the chemical. Head for the safety shower immediately and remove your clothes while heading there. Rinse your body thoroughly as fast as possible. Take off all your clothes. Don't let modesty make your injury worse. Your technician will clear the other students out of the room. Stay under the shower for at least 15 minutes. Fires are always a potential hazard in any lab. They should be put out by the technician and not by the student using either a fire blanket or fire extinguisher. If the fire is too large to control, clear out of the building using the emergency exits. Proceed to the closest muster point and call the fire department. Anyone who has been burnt must get medical attention immediately via the health services unit.